The pie chart below shows how commuters in Sydney, Australia use various modes of transportation. 60% of commuters rode the train, but 10% used the bus or a cab. People who walked, cycled, or drove accounted for only 5% of the population. Public transportation was used by the majority of commuters, while personal vehicles were utilized by just a small minority. The graph depicts the product life cycle for sales through time, as seen by the data points. The graph clearly shows that there is a significant rise from intro to growth. From growth to maturity, the graph shows that there is an increase. The graph shows that from maturity to decline, there is a drop in the rate of change. In the end, the most people may be found in their late 20s and 30s. The table shows which languages have the most native speakers. Mandarin Chinese has the greatest number of native speakers, 900 million, and total speakers, 1,09 billion, yet only 190 million people use it as a second language. With 942 million speakers and 603 million non-native speakers, English is the second most spoken language in the world after Spanish. In addition, just 213 million people speak Portuguese, making it the least widely spoken language in the world. Overall, Chinese and English are the two most often used languages, while Portuguese is the least frequently used.
This photograph contrasts the current state of London's Fleet Street with the area's appearance in the late 1800s. Noticeably unchanged is the dome-shaped structure in the foreground. Horse-drawn carriages of the 19th century were replaced by automobiles and buses in the 20th century. In the 19th century, persons on Fleet Street wore apparel that is no longer used. A last difference is the quality of the image, which went from black and white to color and clear in the 19th century. Overall, the photograph shows that London's Fleet Street has seen considerable modifications during the 19th century. The percentage of persons who read the newspaper has been shown in a bar graph from 1980 to 2010. As a result, the percentage of individuals who read newspapers dropped from 60% to 30% between 1980 and 2010. The percentage of individuals who read newspapers has decreased progressively throughout the years, declining by 10% per decade with the lowest percentage in 2010. The graph depicts the amount of time spent on home chores by men and women in the United Kingdom. Males spend more time on gardening and odd chores, while females spend more time cooking, cleaning, dressing, and child rearing. In the United Kingdom, females spend more than 200 minutes per day on home tasks, while males spend roughly 140 minutes per day on such tasks. Males spend more time on gardening pet care, and odd job maintenance than females, and they spend the most time on gardening and pet care, whilst females spend the most time on cooking, cleaning, and washing. Overall, women do more cooking, laundry, cleaning, and child care than males.
Monthly temperature and precipitation are depicted in this graph. June's biggest value is roughly 5 inches, while January's smallest amount is 1.5 inches, according to the graph. When it comes to the temperature, July has the highest number at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, while January has the lowest figure at 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally, the humid and hot weather begins in May and lasts until the end of August. The provided multicolor atlas and bar graph depict the world's population, which is estimated to be in the billions, separated into several socioeconomic levels. The information was obtained and analyzed between 1960 and 2004. It is obvious from the map and graph that the population of low-income people was roughly 1.5 million in 1960 and around 3 million in 2004. When it comes to the population classified as middle income, it has increased from roughly 0.8 million to 2.4 million people. Overall, the atlas reveals that the majority of countries in the globe are classified as middle income. It's worth noting that in the 1990s, China and Indonesia were classified as middle income countries. Morocco's fisheries, agriculture, and industry all contributed to this pie chart's 2003 revenue totals. The biggest share of the economy is accounted for by tourism, which is shown in red, followed by industry and workers' remittances. In contrast, farming accounts for just 2% of the total population, followed by fishing at 13%. For the most part, the data in this graph shows a pretty positive picture of Moroccan earnings.
The images represent two line graphs that compare world's population that is living below a poverty line or rate in the years of 1970 and 1990. In both the graphs, the poverty line is considered for the income of one US dollar a day. It is evident from the graph that the total population has increased from 3.7 billion to 5.3 billion in two decades, but the study focused on 1.4 billion people who were poor. In 1970, 38% lived below the poverty line whereas, in 1990, the poverty rate fell to 26%. However, the United Nations target was to make this population by half by 2015. The line graph depicts how Promo Plus in Istanbul changed over the course of a year. Promo Plus sales were 200 million Turkish lira in the first month of 2007, rising marginally to over 225 million in February. This was followed by a far greater increase in March, with sales about 125 million Turkish lira more than in February. However, the growing trend was abruptly stopped, and sales fell precipitously over the next four months, reaching just over 100 million Turkish lira in July. August sales nearly quadrupled, returning to January levels, but this did not last long, as they sank back to July levels in September. In Istanbul, Promo Plus remained basically constant in 2007, with sales in January and December almost equal. The number of legislation in Brazil from 1953 to 1993 is shown in a line graph. Since 1953 to 1963, the number of legislation has stayed around the same at around 100. After that, from 1963 to 1983, it gradually increased from 100 to 1,200 people per square mile. At 1,200, it remained, only to soar to 2,400 by the end of that year. To summarize, during the past four decades, the number of laws has grown steadily.
The picture represents the Sweden government budget in 2018. As we can see from the picture, there are two sections are compared which are expenditure SEK and revenue SEK respectively. The figure of revenue SEK is higher than that of expenditure SEK, and the surplus seems to be over 44 billion. Specifically, the revenue SEK is occupied 1,043 billion, while the expenditure SEK is 999 billion. In conclusion, the Sweden government budget for expenditure is lower than its revenue in 2018. The graphic depicts data about the world's most widely spoken languages. If we look at the approximate number of native speakers in the year 2000, we can see that the biggest number of Madarin Chinese speakers, which is 874 million, is evident from the graph. The Bengali language has the fewest speakers, with roughly 200 million. It is obvious from the graph that English has the most native speakers among nations with considerable populations of speakers, with 104. The lowest number in any language is 9 in Bengali. Finally, this graph provides data about the languages of the world. The map represents the grey parrot range in Africa. According to the map, there are two grey parrot species were recorded, which include Timnair grey parrot and Congo grey parrot. In terms of the Congo grey parrot, the estimated population is from 560,000 to 12.7 million, while the estimated population of the Timnair grey parrot is only from 12,100 to 259,000. The main range for Congo grey parrot is in the middle part of the Africa, which includes Nigeria, Cameroon, Gabon, and Democratic Republic of Congo. However, the Timnair grey parrots only can be found in small part of Guinea, Liberia, and Côte d'Ivoire. In conclusion, the Timnair grey parrot faces extinction.
per capita meat intake is shown in kilogram on the graph. According to the graph, the maximum number of people in the United States was about 130 in 2007. The lowest recorded number was roughly 90 in 1961. On the graph, we can see that the maximum number of people in China was approximately 60 people in 2009. Figures as low as 10 were recorded in 1961. Looking in Brazil, the most people were killed in 2008. Finally, the data depicted in this graph pertains to the average consumption levels across various countries. In the diagram, you can see how the solar panel warms up water. With order to collect the sun's rays, the box is covered in a black material with a clear top. To begin, the water pipe transports cool water from the input to the output. The water pipe is heated by the sun's rays, which causes it to heat up at the same rate as the weather. The heated water is then collected in a separate tank when it exits the vent. As a last point, solar water heaters are cost-effective as well as ecologically sound. Confidence in the economy was measured by a line graph from January 1990 through January 2008. Consumer confidence was at an all-time high of 85 in January 1990, before quickly falling to a low of roughly 67. Consumer confidence continued to climb and dip during the next years, peaking in January 2002 at 106. Although consumer confidence was once again at 67 in January 2008, the decline was severe and lasted throughout the year. The level of consumer confidence fluctuates constantly, with many peaks and valleys.
The graph below depicts the creation of water channels and how they can be produced. We can see a meander in the first photo, and there are many trees along the meander. There is also a neck in the middle of the meander. However, when we move to the next stage, the sand becomes deposited in the river and eventually, it becomes silt around the river neck. Thus there is a new channel has created, and a new oxbow lake has begun to flow in this direction. To summarize, water and sand pressures are required to sculpt the channels of the oxbow lake. The dual horizontal line graph provides a crucial piece of information on the pay gaps in Scotland and the UK for men and women for the period of 1997 to 2005. The Scotland pay gap is marked with a blue line whereas the UK pay gap is shown by a dotted line. Both the gaps are measured in percentages. While both the country's gender pay gap shows a steady fall from between 15 and 20 percentages to 7 and 14, the dotted line that is the UK pay gap remains constant even in fall. The Scotland pay gaps line shows some zigzag pattern from 1997 to 1999. To conclude, the gender pay gap for both the countries has gradually got down.